What's going on guys? My name's Theo Atrix and welcome to Tips and Tricks episode 16. I have a website called osrstips.com with all of the tricks from this series plus a few extra guides here and there. If you'd like to check it out, the link is down below. If you enjoy or learn anything today, be sure to leave a like on the video as well. If you do a lot of Slayer or bossing or anything that requires a one-click teleport, bringing a rune pouch will save you a lot of money in the long run. Law runes are a lot cheaper than teleport tablets, but on top of that, you can store law runes, nature runes, and smoke runes in there, and that gives you access to high-level alchemy and Varrock, Camelot, and the Trollheim teleport. If you've done the Seer's Hard Diary, you can use the Camelot Teleport for banking really fast. Alternatively, if you want high-level alchemy and a teleport to house, sadly you can't put that in one inventory slot. With the Rune Pouch, you can put it down to two slots, which is still nothing, and having that gives you access to all of the pools and other teleports that are in your house. To train your combat AFK, a lot of players use sand crabs, rock crabs, or ammonite crabs. Well, swamp crabs are actually another very good option. What's so good about swamp crabs is they have a negative range defense bonus, meaning you'll almost always hit something with ranged. On top of that, they have a max hit of one, so you're barely ever gonna get hit. Furthermore, they're in a single combat area. So this means you'll only get attacked by one of them at a time, and you'll take a lot less damage, especially if you're a pure. There aren't that many banks nearby, but if you take a full inventory of sharks or something that heals a lot of health, you can stay there for hours. Now this next one's not exactly going to help you a lot, but it's pretty interesting. If you teleport to Tears of Guthix once, the cave is quite dark, but if you teleport there twice, the cave actually lights up and it's as bright as the rest of the game. I don't know why that happens, but it does. In the previous episode, I said that magic prayer doesn't help at the King Black Dragon. Protect from magic does reduce the effect of dragon fire. The reason why I said it doesn't help is because if you have an anti-dragon shield and an anti-fire potion, protect from magic isn't going to do anything. Well, there are some cases where you will need protect from magic. If you're using a two-handed range weapon, a super anti-fire isn't going to fully remove the dragon fire. If you pair that with protect from magic, then you'll be taking no dragon fire damage. But as I said, this should only be done if you're using a two-handed weapon like the twisted bow or the blowpipe. If you're killing a monster on a Slayer task that drops a lot of bones, it's not a bad idea to bring Bones to Peaches tablets. That lets you stay at your Slayer task pretty much endlessly, and I find that this works best for Hellhounds because they hit pretty often, but every single one drops some bones. It's pretty common for players to fill up the compost bins as they go so they have access to compost for free. If you fill up the bin with items that are suitable for super compost, they're all listed on the screen right now, then you can bring 25 volcanic ashes and use it on the bin and it'll turn it into an ultra compost bin. One ultra compost is currently about 1.1k, so this could be interpreted as a money maker, or if you're into farming, you should use this as a cheaper way to get ultra compost. Ultra compost increases your yield by about 20%, which is very important for herb runs. When you're chopping magic trees, they have a ridiculously annoying sound. If you'd like to get rid of the sound effect, go to your sound options and turn off the bottom sound setting. This is your surrounding sound options for any noises that come from anything around you. So turn that off and you won't go insane. Well, that's pretty much all of the tips for episode 16. In my previous video, I said that I'd be releasing a special video today, but I changed my mind about that because I really don't want to rush the video and I want it to be the best video I've ever made. So I'll be working hard on that video for the next few days. If there's a bit of a bigger gap in my uploads, then you know why. If you're new around here, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.